My name is James Joseph Keale Capo. I'm an artist. Hello, my name's Krista Capo and I'm Dane's mom. So he was diagnosed with autism when he was five. In the summer, Hill had been painting for five years. It started with one of his homeschool teachers, Amanda, that they were studying art history and decided to um, use some of the supplies that I had gotten from my mother when she passed away. They just started painting. They started with some of the masters um, which is when his first Matisse um, happened, and then he did a sequence of eight different Matisse self-portraits that year. He started with the Beatles last year, I think he started his first Beatles painting. We wanted to move him away from just painting the masters. He'd done Picasso and he'd done a Van Gogh, um, and trying to see if he could paint something maybe that was a little bit more marketable, that we could put on the products and um, when somebody approached us about the socks, it's like, well, are they gonna buy socks with Matisse on them? But maybe they would be more apt to buy Einstein or the Beatles images. So um, he started creating things that we might think would be more marketable and other musicians. So he takes his computer up there to the studio and it just depends, I think, on whatever's going on in his head that day. You know, he may stop and check his stock portfolio or his bank account or he may call somebody and then he'll go back to it and then he'll go back to being distracted and I think part of that is because of the autism he doesn't have the fear of it being good or not good it is just good to him I don't think there's a bad painting in his head so um, the autism lends to that sort of I know a lot of artists you know have fear about their work or is it good and what color to use and is it defined enough and Dane doesn't seem to have that sort of inhibition so that's a little bit of a bonus right now for us I think with the diagnosis because he's so free he's so free to use whatever color moves him or he picks off the shelf um, he doesn't plan it out Well, we started the business because he's probably applied for over 100 jobs. He wants employment um, and he can't get hired. He won't get hired. 90% um, of people with disabilities are unemployed. And with the numbers of autism increasing from when Dane was diagnosed, the numbers were one in 150. And so that was what, 15 years ago. So now they're one in 68. So in my head, we have a national crisis so is it it's going to drain our government system our social security medicare whatever it is and so he has a gift he has a talent he has something that he's good at so if we could make that work for him and and he can contribute to our economy and be self-sustaining and have the life that he dreams of dane wants a girlfriend he wants to get married he wants to own a home um, he wants all the things that you and I want that I think a lot of times people with disabilities aren't granted. You know, what we're doing isn't fully just about Dane. It's about opening the minds of entrepreneurs, people with businesses, people that are in positions of power to hire people, that their, their minds would be open to giving somebody with a disability a chance at employment, that they want jobs, they want purpose. You know, I've just been able to create an avenue for him, but not everybody has that opportunity. And if this works, I mean, if this continues to work, we're gonna be able to employ some. And that would be the most amazing thing. 